I'm Dr. George Ho of Vancouver. This movie shows you how to cure muscular problem. I use the pure farmer syndrome as an example. The method used is called the PNF stretching. Proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation stretching. It's a well-established uh, Nobel Prize winning theory advocated by Sir Charles Sherrington. He got the Nobel Prize in 1932. His finding is so well established, it's called the Sherrington's Law, which states that for every activated neuron of a muscle, there is the corresponding inhibition of the opposing muscle. For instance, when the bicep, which is called the agonist, contract, the tricep, the antagonist, are automatically inhibited into a relaxed state in order to avoid injury, like a vulsion fracture when your tendon pull too hard on the bone. So in this facilitated state, it's a lot easier to treat and rehabilitate the muscle that has been injured. In this movie, I use the piriformis muscle injury as an example to show you how to treat and rehabilitate muscle using PNF. Piriformis syndrome is also called the wallet sciatica when the sciatic nerve is compressed or otherwise irritated by the piriformis muscle. When the sciatic nerve um, is being compressed, it sends pain and tingling down the leg. And this is a form of sciatica not caused by the lumbar disc herniation, but caused by a soft tissue injury. The piriformis muscle is called uh, piriformis because it's shaped like a pear. And when it's injured, it can compress onto the sciatic nerve. And um, people will feel numbness and pain of one side of the buttock. And sometimes the numbness and the pain can radiate to the leg and even to the hip. And a lot of the time um, it uh, is misdiagnosed as lumbar disc hernia. L lumbar disc hernia is the spinal disc protrude out into the spinal canal compressing on to one of the lumbar nerve and it sends pain and tingling down the leg, one side of the leg. And um, an experienced clinician can usually rule it out just using a simple test called the SLR, straight leg raise. If he can raise both legs to the same level, that means it's, the sciatica is not caused by the protruded disc. It's somewhere else. The compression is not in the spinal canal. And um, to rule um, piriformis syndrome uh, as the diagnose, it, it's not as easy as uh, the lumbar disc hernia. But you can, if you use the method described in this movie to treat it, and if it responds, this can be used as a way to diagnose piriformis syndrome. And now I'm showing you how this PNF therapy works. The main mechanism is um, facilitated by the Golgi tendon organs in the tendon 
of a muscle. And in the next slide, you see this corresponding organ called the muscle spindle. Um, when the Golgi tendon organ is stimulated, um, the muscle spindle will ask the muscle to relax, even though it is, has been injured. Because an injured muscle will automatically contract so that to avoid further injury. And um, in the next slide, you see the muscle spindle. In this movie, I'm going to show you two ways to use PNF to rehab and to treat piriformis muscle. Um, one way is to apply pressure on the origin and the insertion of the muscle. That's where the Golgi tendon organs are located. When you press onto the Golgi tendon organs, the muscle will relax. Another way is to flex the agonist of the piriformis muscle, which is the psoas and all the other flexor of the body. Okay, um, all you have to do is press the origin or the insertion of the piriformis muscle. While you're pressing, you sh massage it along the direction of the muscle. Or you can do it like this. Or you can do it like this. Put the body in flexion and then these they will be relaxed. The extender will be relaxed. And then you can put your pressure on the insertion or the origin of the muscle and then you can massage it like this. Or you can do it like this. And then stretch it while you squat a little bit. Or better still, you have a facility of a seesaw. Or you can do it like this. Pressure. Stretch it with the swing and massage it at the same time. And go to the other side. In order for the injured muscle to heal faster, um, Stretch it. you have to ingest and then do it. some protein uh, 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after. At best is 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after you have to ingest some protein because the muscle uh, is mainly composed of protein called actin and myosin and they are formed in the body uh, by um, amino acid that uh, is uh, absorbed uh, from proteins. So um, the myofrill um, will new myofibril will form uh, when you have uh, some amino acid available, easily available during the rehabilitation. So it's, it's essential to eat some protein like eggs or chicken or uh, protein powder uh, 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after the rehabilitation exercise. This concludes this movie on the piriformis syndrome and I'm Dr. George Ho. Thank you for watching. If you like this movie, please click like and share so that you can share it with your friend in other media like the Facebook and it would be an incentive for me to make more similar movie if you subscribe to my channel. Subscription is free. Thank you for watching again.